Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I have another box opening here for you guys. Again, it is from Accio, um, also known as Magic Delivered, as they just changed their name. And this is their quarterly subscription box. And the last box that I opened, I was extremely pleased with. So I am very excited to jump into this box and see what we've got. Um, I do not have any spoilers. I have no idea what the theme of the box is. Um, maybe you guys do, but I have no idea. Um, so here we have the box. It's quite a big box. It has a little bit of weight to it. It's not as stuffed as the last one was. So make sure to catch that video um, of the last Quirly um, Accio subscription box that I opened. That one was pretty awesome. Um, so right here on the front, they still have their main front. This is the top of the box and it says Accio on it, but on the side it does still say Magic Delivered. I'm unsure if they're going to change their box design now that they are fully going to be called Magic Delivered. I assume that they would. Um, but yeah, so this is the box. This is what we get. And um, it also has a hashtag over here, share the magic, hashtag the Accio box, which I'm sure now is like hashtag magic delivered. And then on the other side, it's the same thing right there. Okay, let's go ahead and start opening this box. Try not to show you all my sticker here. Open this up. All right, I'll let you guys have the first peek. Oh, oh no. Oh, what does it look like, y'all? Oh no! <laughs> we got some papers that fell out. Oh, I'm already seeing some goodies in here. <laughs> okay, let's see the theme. This is on top. The theme is welcome home. Oh yes, um, I think I do remember reading this that the theme is holiday at the burrow and here we have a picture of the burrow it says welcome home of course to be at the burrow especially for christmas time would be so magical and so awesome how cool would it be to be like i don't know if i would want to be part of the weasley family but i would definitely want to come visit you know like harry he's like part of the family but he's not the family. I don't know. That's how I would want to be um, and be included in on all the holidays. Here we have the back. Um, this is the spoiler card, so don't read that if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, holidays at the Burrow Magic Delivered spoiler card. So it has all the items on here. I did not read it. Um, so I might have to take a peek at it just to make sure I know what I'm looking at in here. But other than that, very cute. So that's so exciting to do like the burrow for the holidays and um, our holidays at the burrow and Christmas is how many days away? Oh, five. I don't know what day it is. It's the 20th. Five days away. And then Christmas is going to be here. How exciting. I actually think I have even more fun on Christmas Eve, especially now that I have children. It's just so magical, um, you know, baking cookies, spending quality time together, all of that. Anyways, let's get into the box. Um, here we have, right on top, it looks like a recipe for, it says, from the kitchen of Molly, Molly Weasley, recipe for Arthur's favorite gingerbread. Oh, I've never made gingerbread before. And I think I've only tried gingerbread a couple of times. Um, it's it's good. I like it. It's not my most favorite, but it's very cool. So you have here the ingredients on the front of the card. And then on the back are the directions as to how to make Arthur's favorite gingerbread. Very cool. We'll have to try that out. Definitely. Okay, the next thing in the box is right on top here, and it is so cute. It's a pot holder. Oh, someone just texted me. Hold on. Anyways, so right on top here was a pot holder. It is super cute. Let's take it out of the plastic here. It has, like, little designs on it. So you got the pumpkin juice bottle, a butterbeer bottle, a Harry and Ron sweater, you got 
um, hot cocoa, all these really cute designs, and it's it's quite thick. It's not a thin material, very well made. This is gonna look so cute in my kitchen. I'm definitely gonna have it out for um, use and decoration because it is almost Christmas, so that's gonna go perfectly. I love that, super cute, and I love all the little designs on it. Look at that. Okay, I see socks. I love getting socks. I guess it's just me. I love getting socks, especially Harry Potter socks. It says, looks like it's green, which is my most favorite col color, emerald green as well. And it says, Handmade with Love by Mrs. M. Weasley. Oh, it's like Miss Weasley gave me socks as a present for Christmas. Handmade by Miss Weasley. I just want to keep this little thing. It's like a little tag that says that on there. Y'all see that? What letter is on it? A G for like maybe George? Oh. Let's take them out. Oh, an F for Fred. There we go. G for George and F for Fred. They're quite big. These are going to be really big on me, but that's fine. I'll still wear them. And I love the color. I love this green. Look how pretty. And very well made. Super soft. And quite thick. Oh, usually we get these socks in these um, subscription boxes and they're not this thick. Like this is very well made. Those might, might be my, well, I see something else on top here, but these are very close in the top of being my favorite. And of course, I, I want to keep this. <laughs> I don't know what I would do with it, but. But I would definitely want to like, keep this happy Christmas dears stay out of trouble at school oh it's like you know well that's funny it's like she sent it um, to their school if they were in school but hey we're having Christmas at the borough this year so we're not we're not at Hogwarts this year for Christmas we're at the borough happy Christmas dears sounds like Miss Wally <laughs> sounds like Miss Molly Wally. Okay, this looks really neat on top here. I don't know if it's a scarf or a hat. Let's see. But it's so pretty. It's a stocking! Yo! <laughs> it's a full stocking. Oh my gosh. Oh, if they made a whole set of these, I would totally put these on my mantle for all my family. Look at that. You got the dragon. You got Christmas trees right here. The Fort Anglia. I think that's a Fort Anglia. It's kind of elongated. Um, some snowflakes. Some owls. Little cute Christmas design. Oh, and a chocolate frog! How cute is that? Oh, and it's like, it feels like it's knitted, like a knit sweater. How awesome. It's totally something you would see Molly Weasley, Weasley knitting together. I could totally see her making these. A whole set for her family, right? That's amazing. Okay. Here we go, right on top, magic delivered box. And it says, magic delivered on the front, owl mill, holiday stamps, and galleons. Add an enchanted touch to even the, even the dullest parcel. Oh, maybe it's just like really cool stamps. And then we got owls on the side here. Just like a bunch of owl outlines. And then the Ford Angu Ang Angula, can't talk today guys. Right there, driving off. Perfect for all of your magical 
mail. So, owl mail, holiday stamps. Let's see, let's take a look here. How cute! They're like, I was thinking like, I don't know, like paper stickers? No, these are like stamps, like ink stamps. So you take your stamp, and it says this one is air mail, because you know the Ford Angula can fly. And then on the back, and then here's your ink. Here's your ink. You open up your ink. Oh, it looks like they have extra pads in here too. You open up your ink, you stamp your stamp in it, and then you put it on the paper. I mean, I'm sure most of y'all have used stamps before, like ink stamps, but just in case. So we have this one here that's called Airmail. And then, oh, this one has an owl, and it's just like, it says post on it. There you go. Look at that. And then, oh, this is going to be perfect for presents. Too bad I already wrapped, like, most of them. <laughs> I could have totally used these. And this is, like, to and from, so you can put it, like, on your present instead of using, you know, the classic stickers that you put on there from to and from. And you can just stamp this and then write on your package, too. That's really cute. And then the last one here, so there's four in here. The last one here, Air Mill North Pole Office. <laughs> And it's got a little owl there. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. I, y'all, I am loving this subscription. They, they are blowing me out of the water. Definitely worth it. Highly recommend getting this box. Especially, um, the holiday ones, you know, those are like the best ones. Okay, next thing in the box. What is this? Oh, it's a puzzle. Home for the Holidays Jigsaw Puzzle, art by Megan Arn Adams, and it's the burrow, a scene of a burrow, which is so cute, and there's all these little details, like you can look inside the rooms, it's like the burrow, but part of the rooms are cut to where you can see the inside of it. I wonder how many pieces, does it say how many pieces? Oh. 500 piece puzzle, 18 by 24 inch, or 45.4 centimeters by 60.9 centimeters. Home for the holidays jigsaw puzzle. I am definitely gonna be doing this. Oh, wow, so cool. And I love the burrow. And you can see inside the little things. Oh, and it looks like, like Harry and Ron are snowball fighting in the front too. And then you've got the Ford Angula here. Oh, owls are up in the corner delivering packages. Oh, they got smoke coming out of the chimney. And then they got a little, that, oh, the classic snowman over here in the corner. They're snowball fighting here, snowman here. The owls are, oh yeah, they're over here. You can barely see them but they're over here delivering packages, like Christmas packages. Oh, yes. Uh, yes, Accio box. Very good, very good. I'm gonna pull this one out. There's so much stuff in here. What? This is an ornament. And it's got the burrow on it and it looks like it's like I don't know what these are called. It looks like a little snow globe or like a glass ornament. And it's got a little golden ribbon on it. Not just a rinky dinky string, it's an actual golden ribbon. And it's metal. And on the, I don't know what this is. It's like plastic, I think, but it's painted on the picture of the burrow. And they got two wizards in the front here. I don't know who that's supposed to be. Maybe Ron and Harry um, flying. And then they got a star on top of the burrow. I don't know if y'all can see that, but 
That is so cute. I'm gonna put that on my Christmas tree. I mean, you could probably use this a number of ways, but I would use it as an ornament. Because honestly, I don't have, um, do I have any Harry Potter ornaments? I think I have one Harry Potter ornament. I need to get a couple more of those. But yeah, that will definitely go on my tree. Okay. Chudley, Chudley, you know who that is, Chudley Cannons. That's the Quidditch team. Is it a bag? What is it? I don't know. So a bag, bright orange bag, has Chudley Cannons on both sides there. And then there's like cloth in the bag. I don't know what it is. What is this? Pillowcase? A pillowcase? It's a pillowcase, y'all. Oh, so you can support the Chudley Cannons, y'all. Pillowcase. It looks like it's a, a king size pillowcase. Is this king? 1892 League Champs. So you could totally see this in Ron's bedroom, right? Because that's the team he like likes the most, right? The Chudley Cannons. That's his favorite Quidditch team. Correct me if I'm wrong down down below. Comment below if I'm wrong. And then what would be y'all's favorite Quidditch World Cup Quidditch team? And that's cute that it comes in like this little bag. I don't know exactly what I would do with the bag. Once that I'm, I put this on a pillow, I don't know what I would do with this exactly. But yeah. Super cute. Okay, this might be the last thing in the box. Yes. So last thing in the box and I think it's like an apron, like, you know, a cooking apron or a chef apron, kitchen apron. Oh, almost lost the box. And it's got the same design as, it's got the same design as the um, pot holder. Y'all, I don't have a kitchen apron. My husband does, because honestly, he's the cook of the family. And my daughter does, because of course, she likes to cook with him and do desserts and stuff. But I personally do not have one. So this is gonna be so cute. Look at this. Oh yes. I love this. Look at that. And then you, you strap it in the little buckle thing here. Do it properly. I, I didn't do it properly. And then you tie it behind you. And then you've got your little pocket in the front here to hold your spatula or utensils or towel, whatever you need while you're cooking. And it is like very thick, well-made material. And it's got the cutest print on it. You know, I wish they could make more stuff with this print. I've never seen a print like this before, so that would be really cool if they could make a more of a print with this on it, or more things with this print on it. So it's the same as this. They go together. Look, you can put this in your pocket. Look how cute! And it, it, it fits. Like, if I tied it correctly, it would fit properly. Look how cute I look with that! So now I have an apron. How fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't really cook so that much. If I do, it's like baking, baking items. So I never really got an apron before. So this is really fun. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, such a good box. I don't, there wasn't one item in there that I just didn't like. I liked every single item in there. Wow, okay, let's go ahead and look at the cheat card. Where did I put that? Oh, here it is, at the very bottom. Cheat card, okay. We're heading to the borough for the holidays this year. Stocking, we got our stocking. Hang up your very own stocking with the rest of the family this year. It was designed with each person's interest in mind and it's perfect for being displayed or actually used. Well, I might just actually use it. <laughs> My stocking is going to be the odd one out of all the stockings. Um, 
the apron and pot holder. If you're into cooking, grab an apron and join Molly in the kitchen or just grab a cookie. That would be me. I would just grab the cookie and I'll let Molly do the cooking because I don't cook. But here's the apron and oh, I put my pot holder, what do they call it? A pot holder in my pocket. So loved it. Perfect. Great. Um, the G and F sweater socks. I don't know why, but these are probably one of my favorite items in here. The G and F sweater socks. They definitely feel like a real sweater. It was also tagged with that cute little note, Handmade with Love by Mrs. M. Weasley. Homemade sweaters are so cool, but the holidays are so busy and they take ages to make. This year, everyone's getting socks. We thought the twins mismatched set would be the most fun to share, which I agree. Perfect, perfect. The pillowcase. This full-size microfiber pillowcase fits, it is microfiber, yeah. Fits right in with a certain redhead's bedroom decor. What redhead is that? That would be Ron. But it's perfect for any witch or wizard who favors this specific team or wants to add a bit of color to a room. It is a bright color. I'm not really sure what room I would have this in because I don't have this bright orange color. It'd be really cute for like a boy's kid's room or something. That would be really cute. Too bad um, my boy is only in one, so he has like, he doesn't even use a pillow yet. Okay, next is the 500 piece puzzle illustrated by Dash of Nutmeg. This puzzle features a gorgeous winter scene in some of our favorite characters. Put it together over and over again or frame and display it as art. Find more magical art at nutmeg.shop. I definitely like the artwork on here. I love the idea that you can look into the room and look at the little details in the rooms. Um, that's really fun, especially while you're doing the puzzle. That'll be fun to look at. Oh, look, there's also Mr. Weasley and the twins. Oh, they're all in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, there's so many details on this. How cool. Make sure to look it up. I'm sure you can look it up and see the little details. Um, holiday stamp set. Yes, very cool. Ink stamp set. Add a bit of magic to your letters and packages this holiday with these magical post theme stamps. If you can't send your parcels via Al, Al some f add some flair to your non-magical post. Definitely. And the ornament. So this is an ornament. But that, they're viewing it as an ornament. But I'm sure you could use it as other things. This ornament, designed by Mad Unicorn Studios, is perfect for hanging from a tree or just playing on a shelf. With a snowy home scene inside the lantern. Oh, a lantern. Yes, that's what this is. It's a lantern, y'all. Um, this can bring a bit of magic all winter long. Check out other magical goodies at madunicornstudios.com. All right, and then you have the recipe card. Molly's graciously sharing her recipe for Arthur's favorite gingerbread. Is anyone else immediately hungry? Be sure to share your results or your favorite holiday recipes with us. I'll wear my apron and I'll make my gingerbread. An add-on. So you could have an add-on item as well. I think you just have to pay a little bit more money to do the add-on. Um, the add-on would have been the push start button cover. Oh, I saw that on their Instagram. It looks really cool. I wish I did the add-on next time, y'all. I'm sure you can go on there and purchase it. This magical car accessory is a great way to add some magic and invisibility to your to your drive. We don't recommend pushing it in traffic, but do use it if you're taking your car out for a fly. So I think it's like a thing that covers your keyhole and you can turn it and it's like you're turning on the invisibility button for the vehicle, which would be, which would have been perfect because honestly, you guys, I'm getting a new vehicle and that would be so cool to put in there. Yeah, because I do have a push start button. Push start button cover. It's going to be a push start button, right? Currently, I have the keyhole, but my new vehicle that I'm about to get is a push start button. So that would have been so cute. I might have to go back on there and see if it's up for purchasing and grab one because that would be perfect for my vehicle um, to have some Harry Potter magic 
you know, in in my own vehicle or car. Because um, I don't think I have anything Harry Potter related or magic related in my vehicles. So that would be really cool to add. And I am sorry I missed out on that. So definitely have the add-ons if you can, or add the add-ons if you can do it. Um, that was a strong box. I highly recommend it. I liked everything in here. If I have to pick my favorite, I would have the socks. I don't, I don't know why y'all, but I like the socks. They feel like a sweater and the stocking. I mean, look at the quality. That's a real stocking. It looks like, looks and feels like sweater material. I mean, it basically is sweater material. I mean, there's so many strong things. The apron, but my most favorite, just because I'm cheesy like that, is the socks. That was amazing. So catch me next time at my next video and make sure to subscribe and follow. See you guys later. Bye.